uh, or people spending money like uh, I would consider myself okay money wise. I can't afford to spend more than six thousand dollars on a car for real. Mm. Like for real. I, I like to say my new joke is: Look at these fucking millionaires and their eleven thousand dollar cars. <laughs> that, that's no. That's like a very good point though. Like pe people who everybody spends. Like you should you should not spend more than like ten. Like even saying this is totally irresponsible. You should, you shouldn't spend more than ten percent of your net worth on a car. But imagine spending ten percent of your net worth on a car. Why would you do that? Why would you give Why would you give up ten percent of everything that you have in exchange for something that's like offers a, a moderate degree of like utility? Eight of, yeah, yeah, like it's a, crazy. It's like buying like shoes for like seventy two hundred. Yeah, um, ten th ten thousand dollar pair of shoes. People's net worth in general, like if you don't own a house, even if you just bought a house two years ago, you might have twenty thousand dollars in equity, and if you add that with your four hundred one k savings of Five thousand dollars for you young adults, you know. Ten for a guy who's been working for four years, thirty-five to fifty if you've been working for four to six years, and like a hundred thousand for like people who've been working for ten or so years. Like even if you have a hundred thousand plus twenty-five thousand in equity, a hundred twenty-five thousand, a fucking Kia Sorento is fucking thirty-two thousand when you rip it out. Or like people just go by like, oh, I went and bought a new GMC truck. It was just a GMC pickup. Oh, what'd you get? Oh, I got the fucking LT fifteen hundred double cab. And it was, uh, it was fucking, dude, I, I got the best deal ever. And that's this is when I start to laugh. I got the best, there's no good deals on new cars, period. There's not one good deal, there's, there's no deals. There's no steals, there's no deals, there's no nothing. Mm. Only pickup plow trucks. <laughs> <laughs> only, only Toyota Tacomas, <clears throat> stolen on a below invoice. And F-250 gas plow trucks underneath $29,000. Super duty three quarter ton pickups with plows on them at mid, end of March blowout price on plows because truly you will never go down, but you did spend 30. But you average commuter car drivers, you SUV buyers, sedan buyers who mm. get it. Guys buying fucking Civics for 21 grand? You fucking asshole. You can buy a, an 08 Civic for like 4,100 if you look around. Go buy that. Go buy an 05 Acura TSX for like 5,100 that has like low miles on it. You fucking moron. <laughs> like, you, you fucking gay Italian girl. <laughs> like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Um, like, say, you know, say my net worth's peaking around, you know, call it 400. Who knows? <laughs> but like, I would sp like I, I drive an 05 Toyota Tundra single cab with 130,000 miles on it, and I'm fucking souped about that. But people out there literally coming in and like, you know, 2014 Honda CRVs or Pilots when they they don't even sit in the back seat, mm. or and financing away, and then wondering why they never get ahead, mm. and then blaming God knows what on one the reason why they don't have a fucking condo. The rich. The rich. <laughs> The rich don't care about you. <laughs> and it's like, well, what's your car payment? And they're like, four eleven a month? And you're like, four eleven a month? Like, how much do you make post-tax, you fucking cum? You <laughs> fucking <laughs> retard? Like, like, it's like such simple math. Like, a $411 car, like, that's so much money, man. <laughs> Just so you know, that four eleven is like $80,000 over 30 years on a mortgage. So like a mortgage is six hundred dollars a month over thirty on a hundred thousand, and a condo. Let's just say the condo that you, or the kids that we're watching. Let's be honest, they're fucking. It's what? How old are the people who are watching this? Twenty two, yeah. one, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yeah. Buy a condo, get seventy five hundred dollars, and buy a condo for one hundred and twenty five thousand. Your mortgage is nine fifty a month with your condo fee. Nine fifty. Instead, you're going to be talking to a kid you went to high school with. Is like, yeah, me and my girl, we just bought a new Kia. Optima. Just got a WRX. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got a WRX. Is it an STI? No. <laughs> well, how much was the WRX? I got a great deal on it. <laughs> I, I got actually killed the guy. I love, I love it. Oh, yeah, yeah, you killed him. You slaughtered him. Uh, but I was talking to him. I was like, dude, don't. He was like, I'm going to buy an Audi A3 wagon. I said, don't buy an Audi A3 wagon. If you want, Go buy a used Lexus CT 250, which is a, the terrible. And he ended up going to leasing two brand new CTs. And I was like, how much fucking money do you think you make? I don't even care because I know how much money you make. And the answer is 125000 He leased two Lexus CTs. Him and his girl both leased two CT Lexuses. 
I've seen this stuff. But you know, I'm not even gonna bust his balls. Everybody, all your boys, you're gonna see kids you went to high school with, with like new Yukons and shit. And it'll, it'll. Don't get me wrong, it bums me out too. Like I want a new Yukon. I want to have. I want my wife to have a fucking, like a fucking suburban, like a brand new 2017 suburban. Mm. And I want a 25. I want a Denali HD. I can't fucking afford it. Mm. No one can fucking afford it. Mm. Like it's like it's like a retirement thing. Like uh, it, it's fucking crazy. But everybody does it, and it's what it's one of those point <clears throat> things in, in life where you it's it's like the uh, it's like getting duped into going to college or uh, like yeah it's it's like getting duped into going to college. Yeah. It's one of these things where you see everybody everybody else. Uh, like like lambs to the slaughter, being okay with going out and spending this much this much money. It does it doesn't mean it's okay. Yeah, and that's one of the ones that's not okay. That's like one of the ones that's like like the casual drinking that's like so norm now. Mm. Like the like crazy alcoholism kind of shit that like I see on Instagram. Like <clears throat> normal people that are like Fireball Monday, and I'm like that's that's like fucking alcoholic shit. Like I love drinking. Don't get me wrong, I love it. Look at my chin. <laughs> but like, I, I don't think it's like you don't see me posting pictures of me like fucking drinking on Monday morning and shit and like oh brunch on Saturday fucking fireball all Saturday Sunday Monday oh god my skin I'm getting weight what like it's just like it's fucking insanity and I watch people do it all the fucking time that's not okay people buying cars same thing like oh I bought a new Nissan Murano a fucking Nissan Murano is fucking thirty three thousand dollars when you written like you're not gonna leave with an S you're gonna leave with the SL. You're gonna leave with, you know, leather or a roof or something. You're gonna get tough. But even if you don't, oh, I, and I, I shop the price around. You have to spend thirty thousand over five years. Like, buy money now. So, 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 say for example, what do you mean I can't buy a house? Say you buy a Nissan Murano. Say you're well to do. You've been working for three years. You've saved twenty five thousand dollars. You've done all the right things. You've saved, you know, twenty to fifty thousand dollars. You go to the bank or you go to buy a Nissan Murano. They go, good news, Mister. Mr. Ragozzi, they're gonna go. The cars you're looking at is thirty-three thousand. We're gonna sell it to you for invoice for thirty thousand. Your payment on that with two thousand down is five seventeen a month. Oh, that's so much. And okay, I want to sell it for a thousand cheaper. Okay, it's twenty more dollars. Oh wow, it's four ninety-eight a month. Deal. I stole it. Four ninety-eight a month. Good. All right, now I gotta get a house. You go to the bank. You say, Hi, Mr. Banker. I want to buy a house. I'm looking at this condo. I have my three and a half percent down or my five percent down. It's $125,000. That's $6,500 down, $7,500 down. They're gonna go, all right, good. And how much money do you make? Well, I make fucking $42,000 a year. All right, after taxes, it's 30. 30 over five weeks. I take home like 486 a week, 486 a week. Now, how much are you on the hook for? Well, my Murano, 486. Well, how much is your Murano payment? Uh, it's 486 a month. How much for your insurance? Oh, uh, it's one one twelve a month. Okay, so I'm at six hundred a month. Oh, okay. Well, you divide that by four. You four hundred fifty dollars on a week. Okay, so you actually take home three hundred, and you are you are able to lend up to three hundred and twenty dollars a week. Three hundred and twenty dollars a week. You know what that fucking buys you? It buys you nothing. <laughs> now you can't buy a house because you bought a Murano. Because you're only allowed thirty six to forty two percent of that income. Like that's what they kind of base on how much you're worth giving, you know, in a house situation, you know, that and your credit score, your money down. Mm. But like, you can't buy your way out of that problem. You can't even fucking work your way out of that problem because good news, now you go, oh shit, I shouldn't have bought a Murano. Okay, let me go get rid of the Murano. So what would you recommend people do if they're looking to buy a car that need transportation? So if you, if you need to buy a car and you're a kid and you have, a, I'll give it to you in price brackets. Mm. If you have two grand, you're gonna buy in 1996, you're gonna buy Lexus products. And the reason why I say Lexus and not Toyota is because you're gonna get all the free stuff from a Toyota. All the, all the, the punch-ups from a Toyota plus sound deadening means it's gonna be a quieter car. Nicer suspension, cooler looking wheels, better brakes, softer seat, better radio, uh, more standard options. You're gonna get a sunroof for free. You're gonna get a couple of plug-in shit. You're gonna stick with Lexus or Acura. And there are a couple of models I'd like people to stay in. If you're gonna go with a sedan, you're gonna to have to buy a TSX. The four-cylinder, 2.4-liter TSX motor is the best motor in the modern era, period. That 2.4-liter in that, that dual overhead cam, fucking whatever that number, you'll know it, people know what it is. Or, uh, or you should be buying used Civics, used V8 
the uh, four-cylinder Accords. The four-cylinder Accord has the 2.4 liter that the TSX has. The accurate, uh, the Lexus ES300 and Camrys, if you have to buy sedans. No, I don't want, I don't want people buying, I don't ever want to hear anybody saying that Audi is good. There's no good Audi, period. <laughs> Except for the 05 S4 with the V8. Is it the Ben Margera one? No, I think so. The, the V8, I don't think he had No, he didn't have the V8. He had like the old one, blue one. Yeah, okay, yeah, The yeah, early yeah. one, but I think um, the, the, first, old, the first V8 S4. The first V8 S4 is kind of good. And that, A, that A, S4 long line is pretty good. But, and the A7 is a very pretty looking car, that's all I'll say. But uh, no Audis, no Volkswagens. I don't care about any of you fucking Volkswagen guys. I don't give a fucking shit about any MK2, E, I don't give a fuck about any R32, Sirocco, Rabbits, nothing. No Volkswagens ever. No Jettas. I don't care. Uh, it's all bad, all whack, worthless, constantly, never. And I'll just I'll show you auction results. Mm. So no Volkswagens, no Touregs, no uh, no Audis. <coughs> um, people just Japanese cars are really good. Just the older ones, old used t cars with the timing belt done is a big thing. You can look on the top of the engine. Usually they'll write when the timing belt was done. Um, Buy weird color yuppie cars like the Lexus. Buy the buy the Lexus in a mauve or a green or a beige or a something weird because uh, the nervous eclectic buyer is so nervous that they did the Lexus uh, maintenance. More likely to be taken care of. Yeah. Hmm. And do your uh, make friends with the mechanic at a, a dealership like certified techs. Like make friends, like find one. Like go get. Go offer, go offer that, like, I don't know, if you're a photographer, tell him he'll do fucking pictures of his wedding or something. I don't know. Mm. But just, like, make, like, become chummy with a mechanic. Mm. Um, and do your timing belt, change your fucking oil, change your fucking brakes, don't be a piece of shit. What's the next bracket up from 2000? It's a $5,000, 5000 buck car. Mm. That's kind of where I am now. I've, I've stepped my game up. I have a 2000 This is for when you're rich. When, when you're rich. When, you, when your net worth exceeds... Four hundred thousand. Four hundred thousand. You can start looking at five thousand dollar cars. You get five thousand dollar car. Mm -hmm. I have an old six Toyota Sequoia Limited mm -hmm. with a hundred and fourteen thousand miles, and I bought. I paid five grand. I bought it for my father at the auction. Mm -hmm. um, I bought it for my father as a trade-in from a yuppie. It has like Okimo ski stickers on the back of it, so I know it was like a yuppie, like ski car. So you know it's taken care of. And right, and it rode right, nice and tight. Um, and I have a, a 06 Toyota Tundra single cab, automatic, 4x4. Four four. Mm. And uh, I think everybody should be driving trucks. Mm. Good luck finding one. But uh, you should be buying Tundras, F-250, Super Duties, anything. Everybody should be driving trucks. You'll mm. never, like you didn't drive trucks for years. This is the first truck. And I will say also, uh, for all you young men out there, because we got to admit the ladies are watching too at this point. Uh, but driving driving a truck, uh, we gotta admit there's there's a certain sort of appeal that these videos have to the ladies. Uh, what has to be said about trucks is that you will feel more masculine, and it, uh, oh, what would I want to feel more masculine? You do what? <laughs> you'll feel more masculine if I'm driving in a truck. I don't mean a truck. I can still feel masculine in a little clitty car with my clitty. <laughs> Playing with my clit like this. I can still feel masculine in a Prius. I still feel just as masculine. <laughs> just get a truck. <laughs> Alright, trust me. No, the utility of a truck is uh, will we'll pay for itself seven times over. Mm. Um, and if you're if you're just a good natured person, if you're doing things, you will be like, you can move things around. Like mm. you, you like you have an option. Like mm. sometimes you have a fucking job just because you have a truck. Mm. Like if I found a guy that was like Nick, I'll run anything, I'll do all your deliveries for you. I I would I would offer that. Like I'd give someone a job. I don't want to deal with it. Don't show up here because I'm not gonna give anybody a fucking job. Um, <laughs> but you could, like, you could go to like a brick mason and be like, I'll do all your deliveries, mm. or I'll do all your lumber deliveries, or I'll, I'll use my truck. Mm. Like, having a truck is a big deal, it's like a job, mm. um, and it's like a nice thing. It's like being able to, like, being a cabinet maker, or like, just having a fucking car. It's like being um, a lifetime master craftsman stonemason. <laughs> but just by buying a ton, just by buying a ton. <laughs> 
Just it's, literally. It's like you have the, the skills of an ancient uh, cathedral builder to, to put those keystones in the proper, exact proper location so that the gap in between the stones is thinner than a piece of paper. You, you are like that if you have an 06 Tundra. Like Tia Taquan. Tia Taquan. Or whatever the fuck it is. <clears throat> you can literally be like one of those guys, like the god of... Uh, You'll be, like the, you'll be like the Anchor Watts <laughs> the yeah. Garden of Babel building Fifth Sun Stone Masters if you yeah. get that tundra. Yeah, like the aqueducts, the mica aqueducts in Tia Taquan. <laughs> like you knew how to build that because you have tundra now. <laughs> Save that on a job interview. It'll definitely get you the job at 100%. <laughs> All right, what's, this, what's the next step up? Would, would you ever recommend that they spend more than 5000 Well, say, say like you're just like, Nick, this isn't going to fly. Like I am a rich, established, trust fund yuppie. I am mm -hmm. a Smith College graduate. I am a professor. I mean, we got some pretty smart <coughs> people out there. We got a lot of professors watching Hyde Wars, probably taking notes for the next lecture. Yeah. I, I don't think they're here for the entertainment value. They're probably just here for the academic value. Yeah, the, yeah, the juxtaposition. Mm. <laughs> but if you have to buy a new car, you absolutely have to. Mm -hmm. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> you absolutely, you, first of all, you never lease a car. Unless you're literally on a temporary work thing where it doesn't make sense, mm -hmm. but you should make your company pay for that. Um, and even then, I would take the five hundred dollar a month stipend from that, and then just buy a piece of shit car for two grand, mm -hmm. and buy one of those. Like, if you have to, have to, have to, um, you can buy the only new cars you can buy that are new that you make money on are the F two fifty pickup that I was talking about with the plow on it. I want an F two fifty pickup. Okay, pretty nice. Wait till they make the F-250 Raptor mm. with like a 720 fucking like supercharged like freak show water. That would be cool if they did that. You hear the Mercedes came out with a 7.3? The truck? No, Mercedes, you know how it's a 6.3? Yeah. AMG, the new 63 cars? Okay. I think, I'm not, I'm not sure. I think they're releasing a 7.3 water. That's cool. That's gonna be so good. <clears throat> oh. But no, if, uh, you know, no, no cars over 10 grand really. Uh, and and if, if someone's gonna give you a car, just drive that. Just drive the car people give you for free, like your aunts or your dad or grandmother or whatever. Drive your grandma's car. Um, fuck it, be nice, drive her around, give her rides, offer it to, but don't don't be buying cars in fucking life. But buy houses, mm. buy condos really early, you know? If I ever do the finance rules, if I'm not in a rack, I wanna do like, but just buy entry level houses and then start there and always have a home for yourself. Mm. I used to hate it, and I went through, a, it's a love and hate, because when I first met you, I was in like hate mode of houses, I fucked myself over. Mm. But I just did the wrong things, I was fucking stupid, I spent too much. Mm. And if I didn't do that, I was just like, slowed my fucking roll, and I was like, all right, I'll stay here, I'll just pay for this thing, I'll rent it out. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't I just rent the fucking house? Like, Fuck me. Um, just rent out your house if you can't afford it. Like, go live with your friends, or take a roommate, mm. and like, take an Uber job, but 